What up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing an energy reading. I ask Spirit who you should be aware of. I already shopped for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me and just being here and being, being here and giving me a good energy. We're going to get right to the point because my battery is low. It's late at night. I just woke up. I was like, I gotta get a message out. <laughs> I've been, I've been um, napping a lot. All right, we got memories at the bottom. I've been napping a lot, and you know what it is, okay? <laughs> but I'm here now, so we're gonna get a quick message out. See who's in your energy that you you should be aware of. Who's in Virgo's energy? Okay. <clears throat> All right, Virgo, there is something that you may have been um, predicting or somebody like a Torah reader, Torah reader, um, <clears throat> or whoever spiritualist may have predicted for you. You may have seen this, got intuitive downloads, and this could have happened in a dream. All right. This person in your energy, it, you're either really busy and you don't notice them or they're busy. They're a busy person. They never pick up the phone. Um, excuse me, y'all. We have had enough energy. Somebody's had enough of something here. Uh, this person may be tired, burnt out, had enough of relationships, had enough of something or someone here. And then we have using children to manipulate. This person uses children. I'm hearing objects. <clears throat> I'm hearing um, spirituality as well. Because we got it's the power that they want here. So I feel like this person manipulates a multiple, a multiple multitude of things here to try to get power from people. Um, if they're busy, won't pick up a, no a phone and they had enough, they'll use children to manipulate a person. Um, to try to steal their power, their energy, their attention here. Who's in Virgo's energy? Blind, searching for answers, blind to the truth, watching you online and wanting to know. Yeah, this is somebody who's peeping on you. All right, this is somebody who's um watching you online somehow. forbidden ascending learning lessons new phase and then we have foresight in the next few weeks months direction forward time at the bottom signs repeated numbers and synchronicity so yeah you could be getting signs about this repeating messages synchronicities here um, but there's somebody who's blinded here. This person has a lot of love affairs, go towards temptation, flirting. They give into pleasure. It's a really sexual energy here. Um, and they're like, they busy and they had enough of people if they're not giving them this love, giving them this pleasure. Uh, I feel like this person may dibble and dabble in sexual uh, spell work, manipulation here. We have ascending, learning, um, transitioning, preparing for union and new things. Somebody may have had enough of being a temptation, a love affair. So they may have um, tried to use children to manipulate this to ascend to a, a higher phase to prepare for union. So <clears throat> if this is a masculine, somebody may have gotten someone pregnant to trap them or vice versa. In the next few weeks few months moving direction somebody is going to be using something to uh, manipulate you um, they want your power or something that you have virgo they're doing this in the future in the next few days next few months the direction forward this is what they're doing um coming up this is like somebody is going to refuse to stop doing whatever that they're doing towards you okay who is this person in virgo's energy I just heard, try Jesus, don't try me. 
Okay, so you could be a Tobe fan, or you could also prescribe to self protection if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Who's this person in Virgo's energy? Watching them online, wanting to know about them, searching for answers. Predicted it. The Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I have a feeling it's a Cancer. Five of Swords. <clears throat> this person is in direct competition with you. Energetically, physically, and mentally here, Virgo. This person uh, may be trying to predict your life, but they can't get a hold of you. Um, they, it's like the line is busy. I heard, uh, can't pick up the phone right now. Um, so I feel like this person is energetically trying to get in touch with you, your ancestors, your guides, something in your energy, something spiritual in your energy. Because they're blinded for answers they want to know. They want to predict on your life and how this is going to go, Virgo. Queen of Cups energy. This person is also intuitive. <clears throat> okay, spiritual, like I said. Who's this person in Virgo's energy? The star card. <clears throat> okay, so with the star card coming out for this person's energy, this person is very popular. All right, I feel like they're known around their hood, known around their town, known around where they're born here. Could be in the public eye in some type of way. Um, the star card talks about good omen and manifesting things like healing and fresh start, new energy here. This person could also be Aquarius or have Aquarius in their chart here. Okay, the Queen of Wands and the Empress. All right, I'm getting that one of these people are you. The Queen of Wands and the Empress is Six of Coins. Who's the Queen of Wands and the Empress? <clears throat> the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is who they are passionate about. Who they have that passion for who they um are excited it's like somebody is like <laughs> they get off on um looking you up trying to predict things trying to uh, attach themselves to your energy you're the one who sparks this passion for this person they're an obsessed fan of getting an obsessed fan here with the empress card which is you virgo what do they want to know about virgo what do they want to know about virgo page of pentacles <clears throat> which you're letting which you're loyal and dedicated to which you prescribe to what you do virgo how you do it hmm. page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles yeah they want to figure out how you have this abundance how maybe you're popular the seven of coins yeah how you do this how they want to know how you put in that work virgo because <clears throat> the page of coins plus the seven of coins is the eight of coins that's mastery that's working hard that's uh that's what you do for a living right um that's what you work on they want to know how you have that backup how you have that spiritual support they want to know how you are this abundant this empress who you are and where you get this energy from why do they want to know this about virgo The five of swords and the hanged dragon because they want to fight you. You're they're the competition, like I said. Five of swords and the hanged dragon. They either want you to sacrifice you, delay you, stop you, <clears throat> wait, make you wait, or they're in competition to make you um to have something taken away from you. Okay, uh, okay. What's this forbidden energy? Love affair, temptation, giving into pleasure, and had enough. The Nine of Swords. <clears throat> the Ten of Wands. 
the nine of coins okay so somebody's had enough of their sexual pleasure okay the queen of cups was um someone who made someone else give into this forbidden energy they they were a love temptation for somebody but with the nine of swords and the ten of wands somebody's like worried they're living in a nightmare because um something is ended i feel like they're forbidden energy somebody's had enough of that here nine of coins and they're choosing to be single the king of coins at the bottom yeah uh taurus capricorn um Virgo could be significant to this reading. You could have dealt with another masculine. I feel like this is all about a masculine. There's a feminine looking into your energy because of a masculine. All right. Um, this masculine could have had something to do with you. Um, but they used to tempt this masculine with love. All right. And now this person has had enough. Now they're single here. Who's had enough? The Ace of Pentacles. I just heard their, their money pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay um they're large sum of money i feel like they they <clears throat> was seducing someone who they thought 11 11 who they thought um had a large sum of money or somebody who is like the richest person that they could look at the emperor at the bottom the richest person that they could seduce at the time okay the, the person with the best prospects who's had enough of this person's energy the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they have family with them. That's why using children to manipulate came out. Ascending, learning lesson. Ten of Cups, they could have a family with this person. <clears throat> I just heard a family affair. Um, This woman could have been sleeping with somebody in this masculine's family. Okay. <laughs> um, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups definitely is like a baby. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, now they're wounded. Now they're wounded. Why are they wounded? What's the had enough energy? Why are they wounded? The sun card. Because somebody figured something out. They see clearly now. Okay? <clears throat> they either um, see clearly. They've learned something. They've been successful about getting away from this person yes yeah, seven of wands blocking this okay so somebody if somebody was doing some type of love spell <laughs> love energy in this person's in this masculine's energy i feel like the masculine finally caught on like you putting pubes in my food like you putting <laughs> blood in my food like you doing all kinds of crazy shit like i i'm not going to accept drinks and food from you anymore because i would give in to you after i did so it's something about like this person doing something to seduce this masculine that they now see clearly about all right what's the sun card the ten of coins and the knight of coins <clears throat> they also have found their um i heard found their counterpart here with the ten of coins energy i feel like uh he, oh they could have also successfully got financial stability. What they were in for it was like a long con here. Um, they could have um, gathered or taken some type of long, I mean, not long. <laughs> Somebody may be long out here, okay? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so... <laughs> Um, somebody may have been able to take a large lump sum of money. Look at look at me, large and long. Anyways, somebody may have been able to take a large sum of money from um, a masculine or they succeeded in doing something and now they had enough of this energy. Nine of coins here. Um, they may It may have taken a long time to get this or to steal this from somebody. Or somebody has successfully... Uh, met their counter card because the ten of pentacles talks about uh ancestors it talks about inheritance it talks about that family life it talks about a lot of things here and i feel it was this person coming in contact with who they were supposed to be with what's the ten of pentacles the knight of wands impulsive action not easy to commit <clears throat> okay um somebody <clears throat> may have came uh, successfully got some money from somebody that they've been trying to for a long time here and with the knight of wands energy this is why they were having sex with this person so 
somebody like they figured out that this person wanted money for them and that's why they were doing this long-term sexual energy on them all right what's using children to manipulate here mm, somebody could be uh, a large chocolate melanated man okay <clears throat> That just drops into the energy. <clears throat> so we have the five of wands, the hermit, and the king of cups in the reverse. Yeah, somebody was manipulating this person straight up and down. The king of, king of cups in the reverse is a manipulation card. Okay, um, with the five of wands, there was some type of fight, there was competition, there was people, other things that was going on, or they were fighting about uh, this masculine isolating themselves or ghosting this person or finding out some type of information. With the king of cups in the reverse, somebody realized that somebody was uh, mentally abusing them and being a liar here. What was the information found out? The lovers. Somebody had multiple lovers here. They weren't just fucking you. They were fucking everybody. <laughs> they don't just put it down like that on you. It's it's for everybody. Um, e for everybody, okay? <laughs> um, I also heard this lover could have been you, Virgo. Okay, this masculine, don't put it down on just them. It's E for everybody, okay? They could have been directly comp competing with a hermit, which could be you, Virgo. This lover here. Because you have the queen of coins at the bottom there. Tell me about the lover. Nine of cups. Yeah, this lover, whoever this king of cups found was their wish fulfillment. Okay, they gave them emotional stability. They gave them uh, satisfaction. Okay, <laughs> I just heard you see me swinging. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, Y'all. The sexual energy got me hot. You know, you when you've been celibate for too long, you get tapping the sexual energy, and it's just like, whew, people are out here. <laughs> They're out here. Um, <laughs> tell me about the nine of cups. Oh boy, the page of cups. There's that child. Page of cups. Nine of cups and the page of cups. Um, either they want to uh, send an apology toward you, Virgo. They could have had children with you, Virgo. Um, a child could have been conceived, making this ascend to an, a higher level. Y'all not just fucking anymore. This is family. Y'all not just fucking anymore. This is this is permanent in some way here. And I feel like somebody found out about inheritance. About a child conceived. That's what the Ten of Pentacles was. That's what I was tapping into. It wasn't just a lover, okay? Um... It wasn't just a fling here. Somebody got uh, clarity that somebody had sex with somebody else here and may have conceived something, inherited something. Nine of coins that they have to be dedicated to so they can't give all their time to this person. They had enough with their energy. Okay, and this person was trying to fight with them, trying to use children, manipulate, or trying to um, manipulate this situation by making this masculine... Um, be a liar or emotionally abusive or uh, giving them advice that was wrong virgo they were trying to ascend here with this masculine in some type of way by being their confidants uh, by talking by whispering in their ear here because they knew that you were their wish fulfillments okay so if you didn't have a child by this person there was something that happened that made this ascend to another level other than just fucking other than just sex, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, um, <laughs> eight of wands energy, yeah, now they gotta have forward movement, now there's gonna be quick movement happening, okay, and I feel like the queen of the cups didn't want to give up their position, foresight is the power that they want here, the strength card, yeah, somebody is determined, okay, with the strength card here, um, the Knight of Cups, yeah. Okay, and then we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> somebody is determined here. With the Knight of Cups, somebody is like in an emotional way 
they're coming at you in an emotional way because the Knight of Cups is a um, dating card of emotional offer here, Virgo. But with the Knight of Cups in this energy pair with the Four of Wands in the reverse, this is somebody who is determined to uh, break up a happy home, break up a family, break up a home, uh, ruin a celebration, ruin something. They are very determined. They're coming at you. All right. You took their masculine. You took their prize here. This may no longer follow for what's going on. <laughs> and now they're dedicated to ruining something for you, causing home conflict for you. Three of coins. Yeah, they don't want you working with this person. The emperor. I can't make it out. This is all over a masculine. They don't want you working with this masculine. They want conflict in working with this masculine here. Tell me about the emperor. The Six of Swords, this emperor wants to transition into a happy place, all right? They want to get over something. Virgo, they want to move. They could be wanting to move away from this person or move into calmer water somehow. We have the Justice and the Four of Coins. Okay, this person could be wanting to transition, travel, move here, but there's something about the legal system or the judicial system that could be holding them back. That could make them hold back here. Yeah, King of Pentacles again. What, what's up with the judicial system that could be holding them back? The Eight of Swords. Ooh, okay. So they could be imprisoned. Okay, somebody could have gone to jail. They could have like a legal history. There could be something that's restricting them. Um, Virgo. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, from having this Ace of Cups, from having this spiritual awakening, from having this love, from um, fixing something. Full card, new beginning. Excuse me, y'all. Two of Swords. So they're unsure, Virgo. They're unsure here. All right, uh, so there's a feminine in your energy who's watching you, trying to gather information about you in competition with you. They were having sex with a masculine that came towards you or you or a masculine you were with in some type of way. Take the rules as they resonate, switch them as they don't. Um, but there, there's the energy of somebody here figuring out, finding out that someone else had either a child or some type of higher level of commitment with you. That ended out things with them. That put them in direct competition with you. Um, because they realized that this masculine likes you more than them. Alright, now this person is doing stuff in your energy. Trying to cause, cause conflict between you and this masculine here. You and uh, your home in some type of way. They want to take something that's yours, Virgo. And they're trying to stop somebody from getting away from them. Um, and if you were dealing with this masculine here, this person is hemmed up, stopped by the law in some type of way from having a new beginning or traveling towards you, but they want to. With a full card, they want a new beginning, but they're unsure about how to do this. Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Moon card in the reverse. They're more than willing to come back around, Virgo, but they're scared, paranoid. You got somebody scared, Virgo. Like I said, try Jesus. Don't try me. You may have scared a masculine. All right. A grown ass, big ass man here. All right. Or a woman. Take it as it resonates here. You may have said something to this person where they're like, mm, I'm going to leave that Virgo alone. Because <laughs> Virgo uh, is with the shits. Virgo fights. Virgo does something. Virgo is uh, a little, little crazy here. All right, they may have um, went back to this feminine. <clears throat> she may have predicted this. She may have told the masculine something that made made them say something stupid to you. And then you bounce back at this masculine. And now they return back to this queen of cups. And I feel like that was their plan. They predicted it all along. That's what they wanted here. Because at least I'll suck your dick. <laughs> Somebody's a dick sucker. Uh, Y'all, let me get out of this energy. <laughs> uh, the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, but the Queen of Cups know that something is ending. All right? Or something has ended. Yeah, but they're watching here. Okay? They're watching you, which is their... Uh, 
which you're a counterpart to this king of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles it's gonna be your twin flame it's gonna be your divine masculine to divine feminine type of energy but they're watching here <clears throat> They knew it would be an ending. But yeah, they predicted it. They predicted an ending between you two because there was behind the scenes shaking shit up here. And now they're watching you, seeing if you return to them, seeing what happened here. They just all in your energy being nosy. Hey, if somebody could get my masculine by dick sucking <laughs> and lying, go ahead and keep them. <laughs> go ahead and keep them, child. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, <laughs> that's what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.